Number 57. Which ion with the plus one charge has the electron configuration 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 3d10, 4s2, 4p6? Which ion with a negative two charge has this configuration? Okay. So we're going to answer for the plus one charge, and then we're going to answer for the minus two charge. Okay. So first things first is they're ions, right? Which means that they're charged. So their electrons are a little bit different from their protons, right? This one has a plus one charge, and the second one that we have to figure out is a negative two charge. Now, what does that actually mean? Plus one, or any plus value for that matter in chemistry, means that you actually became more positive. You couldn't have added any protons because if you add protons, you change the element completely. So you have to manipulate the electrons. So in order to become more positive, you actually have to take away electrons. So a plus really means that you lost electrons. In this case, you lost one electron. The negative two means that you became more negative. So the negative actually refers that you actually gained two electrons because electrons are negative. So now we can kind of find a pseudo atomic number, right? Because technically if there was no charge, the number of electrons should equal the number of protons, which then could lead us to an atomic number. So we can kind of find a pseudo atomic number. I say pseudo because it's fake because both of these have a charge. Ooh, sorry about that. Both of these have a charge. So they were manipulated in order to get this electron configuration. So let's find out what the pseudo element is, right? So all we got to do is just count up all the total um, electrons, and those are the upper right-hand corners. So the 2, 2, 6, 2, 6, 10, 2, and 6. So if we add all of those up, that would be the total number of electrons. So let's see. The total number of electrons in this atom, we'll say, because it's a pseudo atom, is 2 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2 plus 6 plus 10 plus 2 plus 6. We get 36. So if there was 36 electrons, in this atom that it was going to be, there was 36 protons, which can tell me the atomic number. So I'm just looking for number 36, krypton. So now we have to find out who was krypton, quote unquote, with these charges. So in order to find out who these are, you have to basically undo what is done. It lost, in this case, this ion lost one electron to become krypton, Kr. So you have to undo what is done. So in order to find out what the element was, you have to gain one electron back. So if I go from 36 to 37, it was rubidium, Rb. So this ion was really Rb with a plus one. It was rubidium, but when it lost that one electron, it wasn't 37 anymore, it was 36. So this one was the plus one charge. Now let's try to do it for the negative two charge. Okay, well, in order to find out who it is, you just undo what's being done. So it gained two electrons, so find out who it is. So just lose two electrons. So 36, you jump down to 35 to 34. So it was really selenium. So this was Se with a negative two charge. It was selenium, but then it gained two to become that krypton. And that's the answer to the second one. So it was Rb plus one. That was the ion with the plus one charge. It was... Um, Selenium negative two with the negative two charge. And that's it. That's the answer to this question. Pretty simple. What do you guys think though? Let me know in the comments how you're doing in this class. Love to hear from you guys. Um, you could like this, you can leave a comment. And if you wouldn't mind, just click subscribe. We're almost at a hundred. So that's pretty rad. <laughs>
Thank you so much. I hope to see you all in number 48. Have an awesome day. Happy studying.